Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I've got a quick little unboxing for you today. It's from Solo. It's some stuff that we're going to be testing out. We're going to demo it. We're probably going to do some comparisons with at least one item in here if this is what I think it is. Um, I've got a lot of stuff from Solo Music here. They are awesome. Anyway, we're doing an unboxing. So for some reason, it seems like as we approach Christmas this year, I have a number of unboxings to do. Uh, this is one of them. And my next one is going to be huge, uh, although it's all kind of the same stuff. But I think you guys are going to be very excited about it, especially you Canadians. Uh, but, but everybody, everybody should be. Let's get this guy opened up. As you know, Solo has a variety of stuff. They've got guitar kits like that one. They've got blank guitar bodies. They've got necks. They've got a ton of different kinds of tools. Half of my tools are from them. Well, my guitar tools at least. This, I think, is going to be something that helps everybody out, especially those of you who are more ambitious and want to do your own frets and stuff like that. So let's take a look. Let's see what we've got in here, and then we can talk about it a little bit. And like I said, we'll be working with it shortly. I always say shortly, but you guys know it takes... I got so many videos to make, I will get to it. <laughs> let's see here. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. A guitar pick. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <clears throat> I think we've got a couple items in here, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. So two very interesting pieces here. First of all, we've got this angle jig that holds a file. So hopefully you all kind of know what this is for. You can hold it into 25 degrees, 90 degrees, 15 degrees, and 35. And this, or at least what I would use this for, there are, obviously it's a multi-purpose tool, you can use it for a number of things, but generally, you use it al along your fretboard. Let me, uh, let me grab a neck real quick and show you what I mean. All right, here we go. So, like I said, there are many different uses for this, um, but the most obvious of them, the most common, is for this kind of thing. So, you can just make sure you know which way this cuts, and run it up the end of your neck to angle off your frets. Now, that's the 35 degree that I have it set at right now. So that's going to create a little bit of an angle here. And I would do that right before rounding off the fret ends and then go in with a little bit of sandpaper to smooth everything out. So that's going to give you that nice rounded over feel on the end. Not everybody likes that feel and not everybody likes it at the same angle. So for example, you can do the 35. That's fairly aggressive. That's probably the most angle you're going to see. You can come down to a 25 instead. If I put this into the 90 degree one, then I'm simply going to be flattening out that edge, taking out any fret sprout, making sure all of that is smooth. I think I told you guys in my last, one of my most recent videos, that I like my fret ends vertical and just like a ball at the end, just round it off that way so that I'd use the 90. I do have another version of this tool that I believe comes from Stumac, maybe not, something similar. It's got a 90 degree and I think a 35 or 45 degree. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like it's probably, probably a 35, very similar. This one's acrylic, nice and small. You can change these out. I don't mind this, um, but like these set screws are screwed right into this acrylic. Not great. It's not as, it's not as nice. This has the, the options, so that's cool. And, uh, and it just seems like a sturdier build. It's got the threaded inserts and everything. I like this. And I like that it's made of wood. Only problem is it's a little bit bigger. But hey, that's fine. I've got room, I'll find a place for this. Sure looks nice. All right, and the other item that we have is this. This is a, a fret press or fret setter, depending on depending on what you want to call it, I guess. <laughs> Comes with a little uh, Allen key in there, which I'm going to put with all my other ones. But this guy is a very interesting tool. So you will have seen a couple of my options for putting frets in. I've, I've mentioned them in other videos. You can hammer frets in place. You can press them in place. This guy, much like the clamp fret press, requires that you have the fret calls. So you can get a set of these also from Solo Music Gear. I already have them. You insert them into this. You have to open the set, undo the set screw and then, and then put them in and tighten it up again, of course. 
but this one you don't need to use a bottom you don't need to squeeze the neck from both sides you simply put this on top of the fret and tap it with the hammer so as long as you've got the right radius on the fret call it should go in nice and even so this will be an easier way of doing it than you can see me reaching across the camera all this time sorry about that this will be an easier way of doing it than trying to just go in and hammer them in place I don't know if it will be easier than using the squeeze fret press because I've never used one of these. So, obviously, we're going to do a video comparing these options. So yeah, stay tuned because we have to try out the hammer, the squeeze fret press, and the hammer fret call press thing. We've got to test them all. You can also get ones that go into like a drill press or something like that. There are merits to that. The really fancy professional fret presses are similar to that. They're a press. Uh, if you're a hobbyist, or even if you're not, you probably don't need that, but they're cool to have. They do take up a lot more space. So stick around, uh, stay tuned. We will do a video comparing all of these. And if you're looking for any of this stuff, if you already know which one you want, well, you know where to get it. Solo Music Gear, sologuitars.com. I do have a Solo Music Gear link in the description. It's an affiliate link, so if you pick something up through there, it helps me out, and I would appreciate it. This, I think, I know I, I, know I just got it, so I, I'm excited about it for that reason. But this, I think, is a great kind of happy medium. It's going to be better than using the hammer, and it takes up way less space than the, the press, the squeeze press. And it doesn't require you to have all of these for different neck radii, or sorry, for different neck carves um, to use it. So, if I were a, a hobbyist just trying to pick one, this is probably what I'd go with. But I haven't tried it yet, and we will. Okay, I'm gonna put these tools away, and uh, yeah, stick around. We've got another unboxing coming up shortly here, a couple days from now, I think. It's gonna be awesome. I'm very excited for it. Can't wait to show you guys what we got. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It actually does help me out. And subscribe so you can see the other videos we've got coming. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.